love the idea that I was really into uh, building worlds with uh, projects. And uh, he had this uh, you know, idea for a futuristic world that had been taken over clearly by alien overlords. And uh, mankind uh, was now just kind of regulated to uh, a very base sort of level. And everybody's sort of fighting over the scraps and dreading the boogies. Um, as far as where we're with things right now, this is a pilot. Uh, it was, uh, to be honest, rather expensive for us to do. Uh, the production company I was working with uh, had a bit of a war chest to really put forward in this. But uh, I used all my connections as a producer to bring some major talent involved. Um, the uh, alien creature was an actual physical suit that an actor, uh, you know, performed in. Um, we actually had a top monster creator in Hollywood that uh, was actually one of the creators for the creatures in Avatar, which was really cool. Yeah, he did a lot of the Hellboy creatures too. Uh, and uh, from that, first I got him on board. And just to be honest and transparent with you guys, one of the reasons that I got him involved is he had always wanted to do acting on screen. And so he also plays Bates in the uh, pilot. And I thought he did an incredible job. But uh, he was willing to do things for us at cost in exchange for that. And then I got a friend of mine, Doug Jones, that played the psychophant. And if any of you are fans of uh, Guillermo del Toro's work, he plays a lot of creatures in, uh, in his movies. And uh, things just kind of grew out from that. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I do have, we, we do have like a feature script for this that we've got where these two characters, uh, Bates and Dawkins, are uh, smaller characters along the journey of a much bigger story. Uh, and uh, we hope to either get a feature done or somebody that's very interested in doing a, a very high production quality web series that would uh, basically be the feature put into 11 parts. So that's, sorry, that was a lot. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm Maria Vignana. I'm from the I'm the lead actress of uh, Touch Yourself, which is Tocate. Um, uh, yeah, I play like a very conservative religious woman. Uh, it's about four friends. They're very different, but I don't know how they still manage to be friends. Uh, <laughs> I believe that the character I'm playing it's a uh, based a little bit on the director's experience and how she came out from a very religious conservative family and kind of broke the rules and managed to get into another world and became friends with other types of people. Um, and that's it. Oh, you can, you can watch the whole season. I think it's coming out December. We shot this two years ago. Uh, so it's coming now out in December, the whole season on YouTube. Uh, I run a wet fest too in Spain, in Valencia, which is in the east coast. We have, uh, we keep it a very, it's part of an international film festival that's been running now for 35 years. This is our fifth year as a series section. Uh, we've got three submissions. We keep it really small. We only select 13 web series from around the world uh, with very high quality. In, um, and uh, we've got cash awards. and. Um, yeah, so if anyone wants to talk to me later, I'm happy to give out the email so you can submit your series. So I want to update you and let you guys know what's coming next. So all the blocks are done. All the viewing is over. And I just want to, again, thank you all so much for coming all around the globe to be here in Baltimore. So we have more treats coming up. So we're going to take a, a brief break. And so what's next on the agenda are two screenplays that will be read by actors. So that's what's next, and then we have a 20-minute VR presentation, and then finally the, um, we're going to have a panel discussion with experts on marketing, how do you market your finished product. Then you guys will have a break. You'll get to change into your evening glamour wear, red carpet wear, come down for the award ceremony that will start between 7 and 7.15. And uh, once we give out all the awards, we have a very special after party for you guys tonight at a historical place. We, we have some great food that we purchased for you guys. Wow. Um, but feel free to purchase more from the menu. So we, we have some hors d'oeuvres, and they're making a special cocktail in our honor. It's one-eyed Mike's. Um, and I won't tell you what it used to be back in the day, but you might figure it out once you get there. And there might be some extra people there that, um, as we say, are no longer breathing. So it's a fun place. It's sort of like uh, what was explained on the ghost tour last night. It's, it's an iconic place in Baltimore. So um, if you guys want to take a, a little bit of a break so we can get the actors set up, there are refreshments back there as well as some drinks. <coughs> Stretch your legs, but don't go too far because we want to start the, the readings at the latest, I would say, 4.30, but um, we're going to shoot for 4.20. So, all right. Utilize the rich carpets as well.